In this video, we will learn how to fix api-ms-win-crt-runtime-l110.dll is missing from your computer on Windows 10. So to solve so this, let's see what you need to do is just go in the description and there will be a link to this site. Just come here and here we need to download the DLL files. This is a 32-bit file as well as a 64-bit file. First, we need to make sure that we download the files of the same version. So here we have the file of the same version, that is this one. So first we would download the 32-bit DLL file by downloading, going to here, so download the 32-bit DLL file. So it would take a bit of a time, just go and wait for it. So here we are, it has started downloading. Now we would download the 64-bit DLL file of the same version. So here we are, this one, download it. So meanwhile, we need to check what kind of system we have. Either it is 32-bit or 64-bit. For that, what you need to do is just go and open your file explorer. And here, go to your this PC, right-click it, go to properties. And here again, the system type, you can see what kind of operating system and what kind of system we have. So I have 64-bit operating system. But don't worry, we will solve the problem for 32-bit as well as 64-bit operating systems. So first go to your downloads. In the complex, you can see this one is a 32-bit, this one is a 64-bit. So extract both of the files. Click on OK. Now extract the second, that is 64-bit DLL file. So here we are. First, we would solve the problem for 32-bit operating system. For 32-bit operating system, copy the 32-bit DLL file, copy it. Go to your local disk C and here go to Windows. Now scroll down below and search for System32. So here we have System32. Open it and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Click on Continue. So here we are. Now we have solved the problem for 32-bit operating system. Now we will solve the problem for 64-bit operating system. For 64-bit operating system, First, go to your 32-bit for DLL file folder. Copy the 32-bit DLL file from here. Copy it from here. And now go to your sys Windows folder in local disk C. Now search for syswow64. Here we are. Open this folder and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here. Click on continue. And now go back. Now go to your 64-bit folder, copy the 64-bit DLL file, copy it, go to your Windows folder in local disk C and paste the 64-bit DLL file in system32. If the instructions are confusing, I would paste all the instructions in the description as well as this link to download, so hope it helps. Now replace the file, click on continue. And now we have solved the problem for 64-bit operating systems as well. So hope it has helped you. But before you go, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.